Hi guys, it's Mark from Burton Bibles here and just bringing you a little video um, today just to go over some compact Bibles with you. Um, compact Bibles are quite popular, um, offering people a nice portable Bible, but also one that is readable or supposedly. So I just thought we would uh, take 10 minutes or so just to look at some Bibles that claim to be compact and see if they're up to scratch. And I hope you're well. I hope you're surviving and coping in this coronavirus lockdown. And uh, well, let's get straight to the desk and have a look at some compact Bibles. OK, guys, uh, let's take a look at these compact Bibles. Um, here are the contenders that we'll be looking at uh, today, each one offering something a little bit uh, different, I, I like to think. These were the four that came to hand, shall we say. Um, a couple of notes before we start. It's a grey and miserable rainy day here in the UK, but uh, what better way to spend it than inside uh, looking at some uh, fantastic Bibles. A quick point, um, I know I've got some marks all over my fingernails. That is from um, applying some wood stain um, that I did during the lockdown. Uh, another quick note uh, in that this is the Compact Westminster Reference Bible. This is hot off the press. This arrived with me today. Um, I did purchase this with my own money, just so you know, and this has been out of print for well over 12 months and it has just arrived with me. So we'll be taking a look at that one instead of my paperback one that I have. So let's uh, move these to the side and let's start to look at uh, an offering from Crossway, which is this one here. This was kindly supplied um, to the channel um, by a, uh, a dear uh, customer. And this is the Compact Bible True Tone Royal Lion. So this has a really nice embossed uh, lion on the front, which is quite nice. Um, again, this will be a, a very low cost Bible. I think it's something like 10, 10 pounds or so. Um, no gilding on the outside, but a really compact uh, size, as you can probably see um, from this, uh, this being less than hand sized. Um, but once we get into the uh, the text, obviously it's the familiar now Crossway ESV layout, paragraph paragraph style with dual columns on each page. Um, very minimal uh, noise on this on these pages. Um, so a few little references and notes at the bottom there. Um, but nevertheless, this does appear to be a quite readable font. It is small. It's probably somewhere around six points. Um, but uh, I am finding it okay to read and I hope that you can pick that up from the camera as well. Um, this is uh, a the ghosting, the paper's nothing to write home about but the ghosting is contained to a to a degree. Always looks worse on the camera, don't forget. Um, in the back of this edition there's just a very very um, short, oh in fact there isn't even that, it's the other one that I'm thinking of. There's no word list or maps or anything in the back the emphasis being on making this as compact um, as possible. But this True Tone, these True Tone covers that Crossway do are really quite nice, um, quite nice imitation leather, seem to hold up quite well. So if you're looking for a really cheap, um, compact Bible, one that this would definitely fit into a pocket, a back jeans pocket even, um, then this is a good one to go for if you like the English Standard Version. So that is your sort of entry level uh, compact Bible in many ways. Um, let's look at uh, one from Thomas Nelson though. This is the New King James Version now. This is the compact large print reference Bible. Now I'm always a little bit suspicious when a publisher says it's compact but large print because obviously the size of the thing um, it is small, it's, it's hand sized, it's, it might even be classed as less than hand size. I have quite small hands. Um, so I'd be interested to see what the print is like in this edition. Um, it is a red letter, unlike the uh, ESV that we just uh, had a look at. Um, there's a dictionary concordance in the back as well, which is always nice to see, and it is their comfort print um, text, and that's the actual text size. So it's looking hopeful. Um, at the moment and of course it, it carries this insane guaranteed for life and again this Bible I bet you could get this Bible for maybe 10 or 12 pounds as well so it's an imitation leather I think they call it um, leather soft or uh, yeah leather soft um, so it's got a nice finish to it it's actually got some perimeter stitching as well um, but very similar in construction uh, quality I'd have thought to the uh, to the crossway not quite sure if it's a sewn binding or not can't really tell from that 
it may not be at this price point. Same goes for the uh, the ESV as well. But as we get into it, you'll see that it, mm, yeah, it's maybe a touch bigger, maybe somewhere around a seven point font by the looks of things. It actually says it's eight point five font, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, this is a lot less readable than a Cameo, and the Cameo is eight point. And I know that the Cambridge Cameo does have a bold font, but yeah, it might be. It might be around 8.5, but it, it certainly reads smaller. It reads more like a, a 7 or a 7.5 to me. But nevertheless, familiar New King James uh, format from Thomas Nelson as well. Dual column, paragraph format again. Got nice bold chapter indicators here. Um, and there's the red letter. Um, it's not too bad at all, really. The, the print in this isn't that bold. It does have references at the bottom though, which is um, definitely nice to see in a Bible of this size. And in the back, we do have a very limited um, so-called concordance or word list. Um, very limited, and it does have a few maps as well. But this looks like a good, a good Bible if you wanted to get some features, you know, the maps, the, the concordance, the references. If you wanted a few more features in your Bible but still wanted something that could... This would fit in a suit pocket probably. I don't know about a back pocket. Um, it is a little thicker um, as well. And there's your size comparison there. But nevertheless, a, an interesting offering from Thomas Nelson. Um, so let's flip back to um, Crossway. This is their large print compact Bible. So this is probably going to be very similar. It's certainly similar in size, almost identical. So let's see what um, Crossway are offering. This is another True Tone uh, binding. I do like these. I particularly like this portfolio style branding, uh, binding with the two-tone brown. Really do like it. Um, got a real chestnut. It reminds me of Conkers. Um, I really like uh, the shiny um, Conker shell. It's really nice. Um, and as we get into it, um, it's definitely more readable, a lot more readable than the uh, the compact Bible that we that we saw earlier. This font size must be around seven and a half again, something like that. Definitely readable. Does it say? It says eight points. So I, I seem to be underestimating this. Maybe it's because I'm used to the Cameo as my reference point, um, and the Cameo is also an eight point font. Let's have a comparison. Here's the Cameo here. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this, to me, is a lot more readable. <laughs> it's bolder, it seems slightly bigger as well, and this is an 8-point font. But we all know that I love the Cameo, so maybe I'm a bit biased. But um, nevertheless, uh, this is the ESV, the English Standard Version. Uh, it is a red letter edition, this one. And the red is okay, it seems a bit pale, it seems a bit anemic to me, but... Um, but, you know, that's what you get sometimes with red letter editions, don't you? You can see it is uh, line matched, which is nice. Ghosting in this one is... It's there, but it's not too bad. The camera is emphasising it for sure. There's a few notes at the bottom of the page as well, sort of translational things and uh, word meanings and whatnot. And in the back of this one, we are going to get the ESV concordance. It's not uh, massive, for sure but there are no maps in the back of this Bible. So, yeah, I, I like this. I like this. I don't know whether I like it as much as the, the Nelson one, but I certainly like the bindings on these crossways. Great price point as well. I think you could probably pick this one up for about 10, 10 to 15 pounds. So we're not talking about um, a lot of money here uh, at all. And it definitely is about identical to that Thomas Nelson one. And there we have the, the compact Bible from Crossway as well. So that's, uh, that's those three, but um, maybe you're after something from the King James Version. Um, well, here we have a Bible that is billed as compact. Um, Cambridge don't really have one that's billed as compact, although they do have plenty of um, small offerings, and we'll come to that uh, at the end of the video. But this is from Trinitarian Bible Society. As I said, been out of print for well over a year, possibly even two years. But this is part of their Westminster range. I am a big fan of their Westminster Bible. I see it as probably the best modern King James Version reference Bible. Here's my personal um, full-size Westminster. 
So you can see already that it is, as it says, compact. Uh, we have a hand-sized Bible here, if not smaller. Um, and it's a really nice, what I call and what others call, um, a chunky monkey because it's a, it's as thick, pretty much as thick as the Westminster, and we'll, and we'll come to that in a moment. And it's got a nice sort of square uh, dimensions, so it really does feel like you've got uh, something nice and solid um, in your in your hand. Uh, if I compare it to the Cambridge Cameo, uh, you'll see that it's thicker, a lot thicker than the Cameo. It's a lot shorter but it's about the same width. So the Cameo is definitely more sort of slim, but um, but this is a, a little bit wider. So it's the King James uh, version. Now, I've been dying to get my hands on this. I'm, I'm gonna do a, a more in-depth review on it next on the channel. But here we have the, the contents. Now, it does struggle to lie flat, although I will say I haven't broken this in yet. Let's zoom it up, and there you have it. Now, there will be a fuller review of this Bible coming on the channel, um, but certainly from a readability perspective, the print on this is supposedly a, I think it's something like a 6.7, um, a 6.7 or something like that font. It might be 7.6 actually. Um, it does read smaller. Uh, that's what I'm going to say about it. It does read smaller to me, and the references I'm struggling a little bit with. But it's a beautiful layout. I love this dual column with the two outer columns for references. Um, I also uh, like the, um, the chapter and verse layout. I like these running headers across the, across the top there. There's a bit of a chapter breakdown as well, which is nice to see. It helps to demarcate um, demarcate the chapters as well. Um, the ghosting is being um, it is being uh, exacerbated here by the camera. Although I will say this Bible does have some ghosting. Um, it is line matched. It is a digital um, typeface, so it will be line matched. But um, there's definitely some ghosting here, and that's that's because of the paper. I'd have thought. This Bible is printed and bound by uh, Print Corp in Belarus, who do the large print Westminster. Um, other Bibles that are printed by Print Corp in Belarus would be the Compact, not the Compact, the Personal Concord uh, from Cambridge. And to get it to this price point, they obviously have made some concessions, but the paper is still quite nice. Um, there is some, some ghosting. In the back of the Bible, there is a few helps, although it does not have the fantastic concordance that the full-size Westminster has. But you do get your um, your TBS Bible maps in there, and you have a few uh, proper names and tables of weights and measures in there. If we whip open the full-size um, Westminster, there is a bit of a comparison that we can see. Let's just go to the same... Um, at the same place, uh, Ezekiel 11, and let's take a look at how they stack up. So there's the comparison for you. So straight away you're beginning to see that the paper, the paper in the normal Westminster is so nice. This is printed and bound by Youngblood in the Netherlands, so it's top, top quality. The paper, I love it, it's like an ivory, you know, sort of off-white. This is definitely more white and you can see I mean, the camera, yes, is is exaggerating things, but you can see that the ghosting is way less pronounced in the full-size Westminster. Um, but, you know, you've got to make some concessions to get a compact uh, Bible. Um, so I do like this Westminster, and as I said, there will be a fuller review coming up on the channel. It's a black text Bible, the compact as well, so if you like your black text Bibles, um, just get an example of that. Then certainly this will this will help. Um, so yeah, it, it is compact. It's certainly not as compact as some of the others, but it is a full reference Bible. There is no self-pronouncing text in the Westminster as well, just so you know. So if you're looking for a KJV reference Bible with full references, nothing diluted, um, and you don't necessarily need the concordance in the back, this is definitely one to look at. It's back in stock. Um, I think I don't know if there's I don't know how much stock there is. I've listed this on the Burton Bibles website now. So now when you go to the Westminster 
line item on my website you'll be able to choose from a drop down selection box between the compact the full size and the large print so I've simplified things there now I did say I would come back to the, the Cambridge range and, and I I'm going to keep banging the drum about the cameo because I just think this Bible is phenomenal. You can see that it's not it's not billed as compact, but you can see from the uh, example here that it's slimmer and only ever so slightly taller. If we compare it to those two Bibles from Crossway and Thomas Nelson, again, you will see that it's slightly taller, but in reality it is not that much bigger not that much bigger at all and just check out the readability I, I just think this Bible is just a phenomenal uh, a phenomenal thing yes okay it's a red letter but the red here is bold it stands out and I find this Bible it's like coming home for me this Bible it it's just wonderful I can read it um, I can just read it so well um, I know this is subjective, this is my opinion, I'm not laying down the law here, but if you're looking for a compact Bible, in particularly a King James Version Bible, um, the comparison really <laughs> um, is is just marked, isn't it? You know, uh, why struggle to read something when you've got uh, something this fantastic, printed and bound by Youngblood in the Netherlands, the imitation leather cover here, such as I have, is quite good value as well, it's about £60 I think, um, so just a phenomenal value Bible, yes it's not leather but these are, I really do rate these, um, these imitation leather covers, um, and a calfskin one can be had for about, I think about £100 anyway, um, so there we go. I hope you've enjoyed looking at some of these compact Bibles with me on this grey, miserable, rainy day. Coming up next on the channel, there'll be a fuller review of the compact Westminster. Um, I do have another Bible to look at from Trinitarian Bible Society. We're going to be spending some uh, time looking at some of their offerings. Um, and so, yeah, take care. God bless. Stay safe. And we'll catch up on another video soon. Bye-bye.